Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, me and my family went today to Eden Camp which is just outside Malton in Yorkshire. I was here, ooh, must have been about 15, maybe even 20 years ago now and I was excited to see what had changed and also to show my kids what it was, what it was like here. The car park is fairly big and you know there's room for, for lots of cars here. What we did get at the beginning was a map and we were advised to visit each hut in sync. So the huts start in one, you go in one, you come out the other end, you go in the other hut and it's quite easy. You can get sidetracked but it's best to stick to the huts on the, on the map. So the first hut was the, about the rise and the fall of Hitler which was very very interesting. So all of the huts, all of the museum areas have different themes about the war, so from the home guard to the blitz, what it was like underwater in a U-boat, it's very informative and a, and a very stark reminder of what actually people went through back in the 1940s. It's very informative and it can be very real, so just a warning that you know, there is warnings out there before you go into the huts that it's dark and um, things, issues, information can be quite sensitive. So yeah, it is quite a stark reminder of what, what people went through back then. These medicines, these old fashioned medicines, so you had chest and, and lung mixture there. I wouldn't like to say what was in them, but um, the sealed and behind a glass cabinet and this was the u-boat section so this was very dark and you might not be able to see in detail but this was giving you what it was like on an on a submarine underwater and um, it gives you that real feel also this cool periscope you can look through it and it allows you it makes you believe that you're looking up out of the water seeing what was going on in the attack this bit was about the Blitz, about war, bomb damaged houses, what it would have been like. It's quite a smoky area as well, so the filler with steam and not, not real smoke. But it gives you that, that feeling of, of what it was like. They've put a lot of effort into this place and I was really, really impressed by the detail and all the information that they've got. They've really worked hard at it. And this bit was was really good. This gives you um, a, a 3D graphic of what it was like during the Blitz. So a nice blue calm day with the sky as normal, but then all of a sudden things change. You have the Zeppelins coming over, you have all the German warplanes coming to attack. So it goes from nice and blue to a very dark, smoky, depressed sky with parachuters falling. It's an experience that you need to be there and, and visualise. So on the outside they have many attractions including this doodle bug which was a, a bomb created by Hitler filled with fuel when it stopped it just dropped. Um, this is also some uh, artifacts from the war which is placed outside tanks and guns things like that it just gives kids the 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 realization of what was going on there's also fun activities for the kids to do uh, various games around the uh, site this was called spat the rats um there was there was other areas there where kids could get involved there was also ice creams for sale uh not at 1940 style prices i should say but they were they were for sale Some huts allow you to see what the entertainment was like back then in the 1940s, what kids had to do. And this virtual um, street uh, give you a good idea of what, what a normal high street would look like back in the wall with the tape windows to stop the glass from shattering and spraying over the people. It also let you see what was for sale back then and what things were rationed during the war. Outside there is, is lots to do and lots to see, lots to explore. So it's not just the inside of the huts, it's the general feel. I think Eden Camp itself was a place of um, 
uh, like a base for army people. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a prisoner of war at one time either, but it has got a history dating back to the war as well. Uh, so quite, quite some cool information and history. These air raid shelters again give a stark reminder of what it must be like when you were leaving your house, going to sit in here, not knowing what was going to happen. I mean, this would never have stopped a bomb from hitting you, but it was to protect you from from being from your house being crushed inside. And speaking of bombs, here was a bomb, hopefully not real. And yeah, how 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 life was back then. There is a cool play area. This looked quite new. It looked quite fresh, so I'm not sure if it was just built, but it was quite large. It, it kept the kids entertained for a few minutes. But no, I mean, you, you could play in there for quite a while. There was quite a bit going on. There was various other things that you could do. There was a periscope as well. So kids could could, could go from one side and, and look at each other through the other side. So yeah, so this, this, this was good for the kids. Also on the next couple of clips, uh, there's various staff members around giving you detailed accounts of, of what they do and why they're there, not very information oriented. So I'll let you listen. So goes on. Step to another one and go off because it'd be set to the weight of the vehicle. But if a vehicle drove over it, a tank or a truck, then it'd blow up and go off. That just follow like a bottle of water. <laughs> mm -hmm. These are personnel and personnel ones. So that's a bouncing Betty or an S German S mine. And the idea is that you just bury that underground and you just have these prongs sticking up. If somebody stood on it, it'd jump up to waist height. And in there, you'd have metal wall bearings, like metal walls. And the two under of them inside this up to its side and then it would spread out so a bit like shrapnel or like a big shotgun and it would then spread so it, the idea wasn't to kill people it was to injure them mm. or to maim them and to then make it harder this was a hangar full of tanks and machinery it was just unbelievable you have to be there to to get the size of these tanks the enormous power they must have and it just gives you a little bit of insight what might be going on in Ukraine at the moment with tanks. I mean, this was huge, this grey tank. Um, the, 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 the weight it must weigh and the armour it must have was just unbelievable to see. And, and this was a really good hangar. There was lots to see, lots to do. There was actually a bar here, but it was closed today. And I think they actually do events where, believe it or not, I think you can get married in this hangar because they seem to have a disco ball up ahead, up there in the centre with disco lights. So I think you can possibly hire it out for events and functions and things like that. So I had absolutely loads of footage from today and too much to put all in one video. So as always, here is my best bits from this visit. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I definitely recommend going to, to see this place. And again, thanks for watching.
So this was the Hall of Remembrance, quite a sombre place and a stark reality of how many sacrificed to keep us safe. Thanks for watching guys.